now on the opposite side of the street from all this goonball yuppie spiffiness we have the more down at the heels side of the neighborhood an Indian restaurant with relatively cheap buffets Cambridge Auto Center various little businesses trying to have traction but seemingly getting nowhere and there's the last bit of yuppie encroachment as the all-star sandwich people cross the street and now we've more or less completed our little survey of the tiny goofy triangle that is Inman Square Christine is actually is a fairly good spice shop although some of the stuff seems like it's been sitting around for a while and it's more of the same as you head down Cambridge Street towards East Cambridge. You can hear in the background the clucking of the traffic signal in case some blind people might show up and not be able to hear it. This is Prospect Street and for a very long time it was the major truck route arterial coming into Cambridge and Boston from Route 93, the main highway. So it was a roar of large tractor trailers mostly all the time. I guess recently while I was away <laughs> as yuppification sunk further into the environs with its inexorable grip lots of people whined about the trucks and so I don't believe it's still a designated truck artery but I think the things still go through here anyway little prospect street goes all the way down to Central Square this way and all the way up to Union Square in Somerville this way generally in the aftermath of the 2007 recession what you're seeing is kind of the receding and incoming tides of skank versus spiff. This was trying to be spiffy for a while, and it still vaguely is, but it's drifting towards skank. It's all part of this pastime America has been consumed by for the past 15 years chasing the yuppie buck. Now an encouraging sign, a, a good counterpoise to yuppification is the restoration of some sense of immigrant neighborhood. There's a mosque down the street and so we're seeing the beginnings of an Islamic immigrant neighborhood. Surely some people would be concerned about this, but I wouldn't be among them. And one of the early indices of this Islamic neighborhood is a halal shop, which has decent prices. If you're cooking meat, you'll do. It's hard to find better lamb than is typically featured in a halal shop 
It's essentially the Islamic counterpart to kosher preparation, introducing a bit of divinity into the concept of food. And this place is a futon pit. Also kind of down at the heels. So all of this had high hopes for getting a yuppie buck or two and now it's sort of subsiding back into skank. And now we've completed the exploration of this triangle. That construction site formerly had a Kentucky Fried Chicken Taco Bell. So yet another source of cheap food in the neighborhood was eradicated. Supposedly they're building low income housing. And so the cheap food goes away and another attempt at chasing the yuppie buck replaces it. Pizza pyre where you can get preposterously overpriced, not terribly appealing, little yuppie pizzas in a building that was formerly an auto repair shop. So this would have been an example of an attempt to push back the tides of skank with speculations of spiff. It's anyone's guess how long that harebrained business concept will last. And lo and behold, we return to from whence we came.